Brian, I'm at one of your beacons. Which one? What do you mean, which one? This Nero radio has a GPS, doesn't it? Yes, of course it does. I, uh, okay. Uh, you're at Olali Falls. Okay, good. Uh, keep an eye out. A field op is gonna be there any minute. O'Brien out. O'Brien! Oh, oh, God damn it. O'Brien, come in. Your friends are here. O'Brien. I told you, they're not my friends. Okay, head in on foot. Yeah, 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 I know. Uh, what do you want me to do? Uh, use one of these tracking devices. No, not this time. I'm already tracking this one. Okay, let's get started. Follow the researcher. She's there to investigate an infected subject, the freak, that was tagged in a nearby cave. A cave? You want me to follow armed Nero goons into a cave? Just stay close to her. While you're in range, I can intercept her data. Well, Brian... I'm still working on the info you want. Don't ask. Then why the hell am I talking to you? Oh, Brian... Out. Sound off, people. All good. All yeah. good here. I know Looks what you're doing. LZ's clear. We're all set. Anyone else hear that? What the hell are we doing out of here anyway? Yeah, stay close to her. Right, O'Brien. I never got that. Uh, Easier said than done. The whole stage one, stage two, stage three thing. Precisely, expressing a series of normally dormant proto-oncogenes into an active state. Cancer. Look at him. Look at all of them. That look like cancer to you? Maybe you're really bad. No. No, no, this is something far worse. What do you mean? This virus is on a mission. The freaks are what they are because the virus wants them that way. What are you saying? I'm saying... Jesus, what am I saying? Terrorism? You're saying this was deliberate? I don't know. Is that it? Is she done? Yeah, okay. Time to get the hell out of Dodge. Getting hungry? Yeah, I'm starving.
hell is she talking about, O'Brien? About this virus, whatever the hell it is, or what, what it's doing. I want to know what the hell's going on, O'Brien. Why are they out here? What the fuck are you doing? O'Brien! Okay. I'll be in touch. O'Brien out. Oh, boy, this is gonna get old fast. Drifter. Hey, man. Hey, Ricky, you said you had a job for me? Hey, Deke. Yeah. You remember Shane Riley? Everyone called him Red? Red Riley. Yeah, never heard of him, but let me guess. Ginger? What? Red hair? No. It was his boots. He wore these rattlesnake boots dyed with god-awful red color. He made quite the impression. <laughs> no, I bet. Anyway, he used to do runs for us back in the day until one day he decides he didn't like the camp credits we were paying. So he up and kills Lindsay Fuller. Who? Lindsay. Worked supply before Blair? Wait a second, so he killed an unarmed woman? Oh, she was armed. She just wasn't expecting him to shoot her in the face. Will you listen? So Red murders her, cleans out her supply hut, and then takes off before anyone knows what's happened. Got away clean. Oh, that son of a bitch. Until now. He and his men have been spotted up at Camp Pioneer. You don't gotta ask. I, uh, I got this thing about, um... About killing unarmed women. I know. So I knew you'd want to handle it. Yeah, like I said, I got this covered. Um, what else can you tell me about him? Not much. Oh, wait. He chews tobacco. I heard he was such an addict that he rounds up cigarette butts, takes out the tobacco, and chews that. Well, that's disgusting. So now I got two reasons to kill him. Yeah, but be careful, Deke. Looking to buy, Hope. Hey, how's life? Fill your bike up. Probably need it. I got you covered. I'll be here if you need me. See you around. Now what's up, man? Got some bounties, huh? Whew, been busy, huh? That's it. Yep, gotcha. Uh, hello. Hey, Blair. How's life? <laughs> yep. Yeah, good. Uh, good choice. All right. See you around. Yeah? Nope. That's it for now. for your bike?
someone killed a deer. Hey, Ricky, I'm a camp pioneer, and it is a goddamn war zone. What's going on? Are any of our guys there? Uh, no, I don't think so. Sounds like they're clearing freaks. Uh, don't worry. I'll find this guy. Deacon out. I see him! Uh -huh. uh -huh. Alright, Red, where the hell are you? Newts. Oh, wow, well, they're killing newts. Okay, here we go. Another bounty. Damn. Okay, what's this? Okay, yes, yes, cigarette butts, yes. Prince. Look like uh, the kind of prince that some fancy cowboy. Go! I got you covered. Uh,
in the back of his bed. Red fire me more one gross motherfucker. Finally, Jesus. The one that I shot? Mouthing off. <laughs> Nothing to see, really. She should have known, too. I don't take oh, shit off of no one. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Is this all about that bitch got herself killed that time? Get it down! Run all you want, I got you. Gate. Open the gate. Coming back from a run, I hope. Hey, hey, Ricky. I got him. Deacon, what a relief. Lindsay has some folks she was close to. I'll let him know. Yeah, okay. I'll see you around, Ricky. I've been uh, thinking about what you were saying about doing something to make a difference around here, pay back the camp. I'm listening. Do you got a few minutes? I want to show you something. Yeah, guess I can spare you a minute or two. So where are we heading? You ever been out to the caves north of the lake? I know. Come on. See if you can keep up. Okay. Let's go. I got marsh duty anyway this morning. Gotta see if any freaks are stuck in the muck out that way. When's the last time you went up there? Been a few years, I guess. When I was a boy, we used to live in that damn cave. My old man sort of fancied himself a geologist. Sounds like we got a couple. Freaks stuck in the mud, I mean. Yeah, sounds like. Here, let me take care of them. Down you go! I think Schizo's just found a new man for the job. You know what Schizo can go do. Anyway, as I was saying, I spent hours talking about how all these caves were formed when... Lava flows hardened on the outside, but the molten core still flow like buried rivers. You got the big caves that drew in the tourists, like Metolius up there. And there's way more than that. Riddled all over these parts.
Okay, okay, we're coming up on the highway. We gotta be quiet. All right, get, get down. Damn it, Jesus Christ! This is why you brought me out here? I smell a bunch of goddamn freaks? Yeah. Okay, okay. Come on, follow him. Wait, 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 follow him? Where the hell are we going? Stay down. Just what the hell are we doing, Deke? This doesn't seem all that smart, even for a goddamn drifter. Hold up, hold up. You remember telling me about how the tourists used to flood up from California in the summer, choke off Highway 97 and the I-5 freeway? Yeah, in July, folks smelled almost as bad as these here freaks. Well, you weren't wrong about one thing. These freaks, the big groups, the ones that some call hordes, I think they're the reason we can't get their numbers down. What do you mean? Think about it, man. I've been out here in the shit collecting bounties for more than a year. Yeah. Boozer too. Ricky and Schizo, a few others. How many freaks you think I killed? A few. A few. Yeah, but their numbers never go down. You got a point? It's these hordes. Every night, there's a steady stream of them up and down the Sandium Highway. Thousands of freaks pouring into the Lost Lake Valley north of the Cascades. And you think they're coming up from California? Highway's closed off. No one's been south of the Sandium Pass in years. It's not closed off to the hordes. Freaks are the reason it's closed off. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make is that the hordes come in every night. Not a goddamn thing we can do to stop them. Got that much right. Lost more than a few men trying to back in the day. Yeah, I know. I was there. And every horde that comes through leaves a few stragglers or gets busted up and scatters and, and just like that, freaks everywhere as far as the eye can see. <clears throat> yeah, you, don't, you don't need to see them to know that they're around. We figure out a way to stop the hordes coming through, maybe we can make some headway, reduce their numbers. Make it safer. Free up more farmland, irrigation. Yeah. Okay, so how do we do that? You know goddamn well you can't take on a, a, a whatever you call it, a, a horde? If this is how, I'll be goddamn. Yeah. They stay in there all day, hibernating or whatever the hell freaks do. So what are you thinking that we... Yep. We blow it the hell up. Stick it down to my there, there, and there. We'll bring down a mountain of rock. We seal this shit up. Yeah, so we trap a few hundred inside. What good is that gonna no, do? No, no, you don't get it. We seal this cave. Maybe they don't got no place to sleep. Or maybe this trail of piss and shit dries out, goes stale, and others stop coming. You get my attention. Okay, come on, let's head back. All right, my knees are warmed up a bit. Let's see if you can keep up. Yeah, okay. Tell me, when does being out in the shit make you an expert on freaks? You spend your spare time just following them around, seeing what makes them tick? Not exactly. And how do you know about all this? About what a horde's gonna do, where they sleep? A few days ago, I was riding north of Belknap Crater when a chopper flew by. A chopper? What the hell? Just listen to me. It was a black chopper. One of those Nero choppers that used to fly all over the goddamn place when the shit was going down. I followed him, 
They stole one of their radios. I've been trying to track them down, see if they have a base around here. Supplies. Shit, I mean, see if the feds are still alive, you know what I'm saying? They're out here doing field work of some kind on the freaks. They're studying them. They got resources to do that. While we're I followed them up to the grotto caves. You know the ones? Yeah. They have motion sensors set up, measuring how many freaks use the cave during the day. And, uh, Mike, it was thousands. That right. They said freaks all up and down the Cascade Range, south of Crater Lake and north up to Smith Rock, all use these lava tube caves to hibernate. So, we blow up those caves. Maybe we have a few less to deal with. Hey, this idea of yours, it's got some merit, but... Job like that, it's gonna take a fair amount of TNT. You said you wanted help making Lost Lake safer. This is how we do it. <sighs> All right. All right, look. There's some things I gotta do, okay? But you meet me at the bridge in a couple of minutes. I know where we can find some. St. John, you were supposed to be up at the farm an hour ago. My guy said he's got a shovel waiting for you. Yeah, Schizo, about that, I'm busy. See, Iron Mike and I, we're just heading out on a run. You and Iron Mike? You'll get your ass up that way today. Or you and your gimp boyfriend are gonna find yourselves out in the shit. You hear me? Without a goddamn battle. Hey, I'll get right on that. St. John out. Yeah? Nope. Ready? Where are we headed? This time you're gonna have to trust me. Okay, where are we going? You know what they use to mine all around these parts? Yeah, uh, mercury or something. That's right, cinnabar. They extracted mercury from cinnabar. Folks back east think it was gold mines out here, and silver. Not so. Back in the early 1900s, cinnabar was worth more than gold. To operate the mine, you need TNT for expansion, blowing out new tunnels, clearing cave-ins, that sort of shit. And to own TNT, you had to register with the county, keep copies of the keys to all your lockboxes with the commissioner. Wait, the county courthouse? Where the hell is that? Thought you knew. It's in the old federal building. The old federal building. The one in Sherman's camp. Jesus, Mike. What the hell? You told me... You, you told me that you were never setting foot in that place again. Did I? I don't recall. You were drunk right after Joe was killed. Did I tell you why? No. Here. Turn right. Here. This is it. Mike, the place is going to be crawling. I don't, I don't think this is a good idea. Uh, weather holes will be safe enough. All right. That there? It's the old federal building. That's where we're headed. Let's not go looking for trouble. Stay out of the buildings. Come on. Where are we headed? Just follow me. Key will be on the commissioner. And and you know where he is? <laughs> where his body is? Yeah, I think I do. You heard what happened here? Yeah. Everybody got wiped out, man, woman, and child. Only a few got out, and and uh, you you were one of them, right? Only two got out. Me and Nora. But it wasn't the freaks that took us out. What do you mean? Here. <coughs> oh, 
in. The ammo was gone. Two sides called a truce. A meeting. Right here. Oh, we knew what was coming. We knew what was coming and we were prepared. Fight didn't last long. But it was bad. They had ammunition left after all, and... Well, they... Oh, hell, you can see what they did. Like I said... Two people walked out of this town after all was said and done. Some days. I wish to hell one of them wasn't me. Commissioner's over there in the bean counter suit. Go get the key so we can get the hell out of here. You didn't give a damn about sealing the caves. You brought me here be because you, you brought me here because you wanted me to see this. Not true. All right, you got the key. We're gonna go get the maps to those mines, just like I said, and we're gonna get more than enough TNT to seal every cave in the valley. Bullshit. Right about one thing. I'm not sorry you've seen it. Not following you, Mike. I am talking about the war that's coming. With the Rippers, the one that Schizo's so hot for. You think he cares how many die on either side? Never mind. Come on, let's get this done. Here's the door. Place is locked up tight. Come on, gotta find a way upstairs. Smells like something died in here. I smell them. Bad business. Never much like it. You guys tended to get on my nerves. Okay. All right. This is it. Now we got maps to every mine in the county showing where they stored their dynamite. Okay. Come on. Hear that? Yeah. Were well, you expecting anyone? Nope. Do you have my back here? Hey, I don't like starting trouble, but. I'll finish it if I have to. Stay behind me. Hey, I can take care of myself. I'm not saying you can't, but remember the last time that we were out in the shit. Yeah, like I said, I'm staying behind you. Well, I'm open.
Jesus, what a mess! Now you know why no one goes into Sherman's camp. Eddie finds out you're out here risking your ass like this, she's gonna be pissed! Now how would she find out about something like that? Not from me. the Rippers, why you wanted me to see that shit. You know, Nick, I always saw a bit of myself in you, back in the day. How's that? You don't give a shit. Oh, you care about your friend. You don't want to see him die, but me? Any other goddamn person on the planet, I don't think so. Caring will just get you killed. Yeah, that's right. The thing is, not caring will get you killed just as easy. Good folks of Sherman Camp did was stop caring about anyone but themselves and their own. Easy to kill a man when he's just some piece of meat standing between you and what you need. Schizo wants to kill Rippers because he don't think they're human anymore. You don't count. Standing in the way of what he wants. Well, I don't buy into that shit. I won't have it. You know, Schizo, he, uh, he wonders why I'm a pacifist. That's, you know, that's what he likes to call me. He, uh, he thinks I'm gonna get everybody killed. Well, are you, Mike? Are you gonna get everyone killed? Freaks aren't gonna be around forever. Now, when they're gone, we're gonna need some folks around here to help pick up the pieces. Hey, look, hey, hey. I don't like Carlos and his rippers any more than I like Tucker or, or, or Copeland and his, his, his goddamn truthers. All right, but here, look. Here's the thing, Deke. I'm not going out of my way to kill any of them. I've had my share of killing. Even if Carlos comes for you? My truce will hold. You can bet on that. <laughs> 